These ain't real, mate. No, 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 these aren't AirPod Maxes, mate. These are P9s. They're in all the zany colors. There they are looking like a toaster. And before we look at these, mate, we gotta look at the genuine article. Well, third time's the charm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my first pair balked it out because the active noise cancelling was freaking out like it would just make sub frequencies that genuinely hurt my ears. And then the second ones, uh, the hinge would click. Just very frustrating when the whole idea of these is that, you know, they get rid of all the noises and you can walk around in silence and do whatever you want. And it was a real bummer because um, I really did like my pair. I know audiophiles bemoan them, but you know, they are all round the headphones. They're trying to do everything. Audiophile headphones sound better, but usually you can only use them at home. There it is in its big nappy looking thing. So this is what the unboxing experience is like, mate. You know, you bust her out of the nappy, take the cardboard dudes off. It comes with next to nothing. Ooh, an outdated USB standard. Excellent, Apple. Still love that you're using it. And here's you guys, looking like someone has cut a toaster in half and then put like a headband on it. They remove with the mag and it's, everything's all slidey slidey and nicey nicey, unless you know the ANC borks or the hinges click, other than that. Really deep ear cups, I really like how your ears just kind of live inside of these. Physical buttons, nice one Apple, it's actually good. Crappy stinky garbage port, and uh, I do like the ear pads because they don't get really sweaty and gross for the most part. I mean you can make them sweaty and gross with like really high activity, but for the most part walking around and whatnot. They're fine. It is true, they are pretty heavy, but a lot of the weight's in the headband. I actually like the headband. I mean, I've already reviewed these guys. <clears throat> okay, <laughs> let's suss out these P9s. Uh, I think these go for about 20 bucks. There's some people talking how they've got them for seven bucks or something like really cheap. It adopts 50 millimeter hi-fi debatable dynamic coil speaker with high dynamic debatable sensitivity, high fidelity <laughs> debatable and other characteristics. <laughs> <laughs> and other characteristics. You could say the same for a big pile of poo. I mean, it has a pungent smell and other characteristics. Enjoy the professional, debatable, grade, music, sense of bass. Th thick and boring. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's a typo. Thick and boring. Oh, that sounds like Frank. Do not put them straight in the bin. You will be tempted. I like how they haven't even ticked which one I've got. Like they they just didn't care. All right, so the unboxing experience is just a little bit different. Mm. <laughs> ah, lovely. I like how my pair scratched already. <laughs> Must have been brutal. Just get smashed in the post or something. These weigh nothing. Nothing at all. And look at this, there's no mesh thing. It's just hard, gross plastic. Oh, it's so stiff. Ah, oh, yeah, baby, that's the stuff. Oh, wow, look at this pivot they can do. <laughs> Mate, can your AirPods do this? God, I can't figure out how they took about 800 bucks out of the price. Wow, that is rough. Looks like that's been cut with scissors. I should not have taken this off. This was a huge mistake. Huge mistake. What have I done? Oh no, these were not meant to be user serviceable. Oh, I've done it. I've I've balked it, man. For how easily that just kind of fell off. I thought that this would just be whoop whoop whoop. Easy. No, no way. This raggy edge doesn't want to get in there. I need to use tools now. I can't find out how they made this so cheap. I have no idea. I, I can't do it. I done it. No! Stay on! Starting to think that these are terrible! Oh, that just pops right out, does it? Oh! <laughs> hey, it's easier now! I-I just... I-I just broke them. That's it. I... It doesn't matter. Just move on with the review. That's it. Everything feels great. Everything feels really, really good. That isn't just uh, like chromed plastic at all. This headband, so comfortable. You know how it like kind of dips down a little bit and just digs into your head because it's, you know, pretending to be a completely different design. I like how they ran the cabling. Like look how actual deep these ear cups are and you look at these pancakes. Aye, hey. But there are some things this guy does better than the Maxes. I mean, it doesn't have lightning for one, go them. Look, man, orcs in! 
straight up. You can just use a, a cable and just use them like regular headphones. Yes, that is a micro SD slot, and yes, it works. You can just slot in MP3s and listen straight out of the idiot. I hear Max just can't do that. But these are way smaller, like your ears sit on these idiots. They don't go in there. And the first time I dragged these over my greasy head, the popping and cracking sounds it was making, I thought they were gonna break in half. Well, um, let's talk sound. Uh, I'm very glad I've already recorded these before the fact, you know, because uh, these are now completely broken. Yeah. All right, mate, let's do the real ones first. Got to put them up against the Herdo 600s, my ball, my, you know. They be headphones, huh? These. Yeah, uh... They're really bassy, but in like the disgustingly cheap bassy. They sound like $7 headphones. <laughs> I'm just looking at the box again. Look how crap and sly this is. Look how reasonable this looks. Oh, look at the, the panel gap here of like just how gross these plastics are. I mean, you know, you wouldn't expect people who do rip-offs like this to have any integrity. Oh, hang on, there's, there's paper in here. Oh! Mm. I, I don't, I don't care. Uh, it's funny how imbalanced they are, because it seems like the left ear cup is a bit louder than the right one. <laughs> so, like, this one time, mate, like, I decided to start cooking, because, like, I was pretty tired of just licking the floor for sustenance. Like, I was getting a bit stale, mate. And, like, mate, I'm pretty cooked, hey? So, like, I kind of set out to find the most cooked thing that I could ever create, mate. So after much intensive research, mate, which I think was just blacking out after self-medicating on Tic Tacs, mate, I had an epiphany on what the most cooked thing in the world is. It turns out it's called toast, mate. Because, like, someone decided to, like, cook bread. You know, you turn wheat and other stuff, I don't know like shoelaces, and you turn it into this thing after you cook it, and then someone's decided to slice it up and then like to cook it again. And like, I'd love to attempt this like, amazing piece of cuisine, but like I'm ill-prepared and I've like no equipment at all, mate. Like all I've got is a big lighter and a shoe and like no bread. I, I don't have anything. Well done. Oh, you did it. That's, that's excellent. Right on, mate. This could be uh, one of the worst microphones I've ever heard. That sounds like... Sounds like the adults from the cartoon Peanuts. Imagine making phone calls with these ridiculous idiots. And, like, the mic in these isn't even that good. That's just Bluetooth for you. I hate how these clack together. So I, I'm still reeling by the fact that, you know what, you see how crap these earpads fit, right? They just do circles, yeah. And how easily... Watch, they just go... And that you can't get them back on, and they're made out of garbage, so you can just easily pick at them. Look at that, it just pops out like a Lego piece. Ooh, it's the spicy pillow, literally just double-sided taped in there. Okay, look, this one's still stitched together. I mean, yes, it'd be easy to fix them, but like, really, kids are more likely going to be getting these. Like, this is like the crap you get at the petrol station on your way to Nana's or something. Something as simple as that. That's the first thing Dad's going to do when he's trying to get this piece of crap on as your kid's crying at you lot, is it's going to go pop and then rip straight out. Like... <laughs> Oh, I'm so mad. And yeah, these are just absolute land waste. Nothing redeeming in them at all. I do like you can see the little Bluetooth antenna. That's cute. Ooh, Phillips head screws. Don't mind if I do. Yep. <laughs> Hollow garbage. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I expected nothing and I'm still disappointed. You know, my plan was actually just to do the review on these and then keep them so I'd never have to like get another set of these again. And, and now I, I really can't be bothered. 
I really cannot. That this is a <laughs> look at those high quality cables, guys. Oh yeah. I, I didn't try to rip these apart. They fell apart. Imagine some kid dropping these two or three times. They were never gonna last. Ever. They couldn't survive getting an ear cut back on. Da -da. Da -da, da -da 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 -da. Yeah, I, I really do hate bootleg rubbish like this. All of this is land waste. Imagine how many millions of these they pump out just to be like used for about a week or two and then thrown away. Like even when these were working good, they weren't good. But I did enjoy the Bluetooth voice. Power on. The Bluetooth device is ready to power. Was that switching between American and French or something? <laughs> Bonjour! But you know, if you're trying to save money and you want decent sounding whatevers for your daily roundabouts and you're not hung up enough to be self-conscious about, oh, I don't want to be seen in anything other than top-end stuff, but I've only got 17 bucks. Like, just get some KB ears or KZ in-ears. These smash these in every single way. The mic's better, the sound's better, everything's better, and these fit in your pocket and they don't even need batteries. Well, you get what you pay. Paid for. Watch this. Oh wow! I barely tugged that. What about this? Oh, it's more pliable than I thought. Ooh, it's like a milk container. <laughs> <laughs> nice! The world is rotting with stuff like this. Just, just don't do it. I uh, wonder how long I'm going to get out of these sets of ear toasters. And well, that's it. <laughs> thanks so much for watching. Huge thanks to my patrons, especially these stinky names right here, mate, because $1 a month, I do it to videos. Although there are actually videos on, you know, Garbage Time, which is my car thing, and the drum thing, which is my drum thing. I stream on float plane six times a week playing the drums. But, mate, if you want extra dank pods, Low Tier Landways has been around since stinking forever. And to prove it to you, mate, check out this book. <laughs> It's like a magician's something book. I mean, it's not like tricks where they show you. Yeah, it's like gags and things that you'd buy. Putting in the hat. 1950. <laughs> yep. Spooky, weird 1950s gag stuff, mail order rubbish. Like, it's basically the same version of buying crap on the internet today. You bought it in the mail back then. So thanks so much, mate. I'll see you all next time. Hoi mate, here's a scenario for you. Imagine choosing between having limbs and legs and things and not just being a sausage or having the ability to turn into a pillar. But you know, I, I chose the limbs and pfft, look at this idiot for choosing being a pillow. I'm actually really jealous. I, I knew I made the wrong choice. <laughs>